going to talk through this question in two different ways. There's a there's a quite a relatively simple way that doesn't involve um, horrible square roots, and then there's the way that I did it, which does involve square roots. So let's look at the the simpler one. I'm going to label the lengths of my tri my uh, small rectangles A and B, and then if I look at the oh, this is also going to be A. So the lengths of the side of the big square are A plus B. But now we have the perimeter is going to be a plus a plus b plus b. It's actually going to be 2a plus 2b, and that's equal to 20, which means a plus b is equal to 10. And that gives me the length of my big square. So the area of the big square is going to be 10 times 10. So 100, 100 centimeters squared. And therefore, the area of the Four rectangles is going to be the difference between the uh, 144. And then we can just divide through by four. Fifty-six divided by four, which gives fourteen. So that's the answer. Neat method. Okay, method two. This is going to assume that you've done certain topics which are actually normally taught after the junior maths challenge, but you might have covered them. Um, it's actually how I did it, so I'm just going to talk through it. In the same kind of way, I labelled it A and B, but actually I then labelled this as B minus A. And that's also going to be B minus A, so I can write down that B minus A squared is actually 44 which means that b minus a is root 44. Okay, this is called a surd. It's a square root that can't be simplified. Uh, well, it, sorry, I can't. it doesn't have an exact answer, so it's a surd. Although I can write it as root 4 times 11 and then use some rules of surds, which I'm not going to go into detail with, but write it as 2 root 11. They're actually the same thing. So b minus a is 2 root 11. As I had before, I can also write that b plus a is equal to 10. And what I actually have here is something called simultaneous equations, two equations involving b and a. And if I add them together, then the a's cancel and I'm left with 2b is equal to 10 plus 2 root 11. So B is going to be 5 plus root 11. So this method works by actually finding what A and B are. And then A is going to equal, I can rearrange this to be B minus 2 root 11. So it's going to be 5 minus root 11. And then I can multiply them to get AB. Okay, I'm not recommending you do this way, but you know, it, it works. Okay, when you multiply this double bracket, again, a topic uh, typically taught a bit later on, we get 25. We get a minus 5 root 11 and a plus 5 root 11. They actually cancel, so I'm not going to write them down. And then a minus 11. And the, we also get 14. But did it for the first method. So two methods. I'd say stick with this one, make sure you understand it. But, uh, you know, have a look at the second one as well. Well done.